butterfly. Do you have thinning with your gray hair? Do you have uh, ball spots, areas where you wish you had more hair? This is one of the struggles that I have with my tapered haircut or getting my hair cut by a barber. Um, I do love having um, my sides taken in, but sometimes when I go to him, because my hair is natural and it shrinks, I have these ball spot areas from my thinning edges. So I did a video a while ago where I talked about um, how I used to use the product Topic when after I had my son and I had some postpartum shedding and some thinning edges, that helped a lot to be able to camouflage my balding or thinning edges. But I still have that issue, not as bad as when I um, was postpartum, but I was like, I wish they had Topic in a gray color. I do not remember the name of the beautiful subscriber who let me know that there is a gray uh, color topic and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. This product right here. Topic is a little different than um, temporary hair colors or uh, rinses and things like that. It is a hair building fiber and so I'm gonna try it on my hair with you guys right here live. Um, this is the color gray. And I was just so excited that they had it for gray. So if you're having issues maybe with alopecia or, um, you know, thinning edges like me, this might be something that you would think about uh, trying and using. Now, this is not a tutorial. This is a watch me as I try it myself. Um, I've seen a couple of things. When I had the, the topic in black, I had the nozzle that went with it and it, you know, the the pump I think it's like a spray pump but that didn't come this time around when I got it on Amazon so I was like you know what let me try something different because okay this is what it looks like it's full of a, a lot of fibers it just disclaimer it can get messy so this is what it looks like here this is the top that has like all the little holes where the hair fibers come out. So you could just do it like this. I'm going to try it. Remember, um, this is not something like do like me. Just see how I do it. Um, I also have another option. I have like this makeup brush that I don't use. I'm going to show you the second way I've been trying to do it without the pump. Um, let me know in the comments if you've used this product before, uh, Topic. So I'm going to try it. I actually found out how to use this by watching um, this guy use it. Because men use this also when they get their hair cut, if they have some thinning edges. And he had said, like, I don't know if you could see that, to kind of like, I'm going to see if that works. Maybe I won't have to use the brush. Um, let me show you what it looks like on the inside so you could see what it is that I'm doing. You can kind of screw the cap off. Okay, I'm being very slow because, like I said, this can get messy if you... So don't do this in a rush. Okay. All right, so this is that nozzle. If you got the one that kind of shoots it out then you would put that on top here, but this is what it looks like. And um, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I would do it if I didn't do it the other way. Bear with me. I'm gonna put a little bit in here in the top. So you see that right there? And that's my toilet. <laughs> It's been talking lately. So I'm just dipping this makeup brush in there, putting a little bit of the fibers. You can see what it looks like. And I'm just kind of putting it, putting it in some of those like little sparse areas. I did do a little of this before I came on live and I'm like, wait, stop, go on live, show everybody what you're doing. Um, so I don't know if you could tell, it looks like 
it covered up a little bit so far because I basically don't want my scalp to show. I didn't find this to be as hard of an issue when my hair wasn't gray, but sometimes you may not even have thinning edges, but because your hair is white or um, very light gray, you could see your scalp more. Definitely this patch right here, as you guys can see, you could see my scalp a whole lot more and it's pink. So that's my issue. I just came from the barber today. I'm gonna be washing my hair, but I was like, why don't I try this with you guys on here before I wash my hair? So this is pretty quick. Now, obviously this doesn't last as long as if you put a permanent color or, well, we're not talking about permanent colors, but if you use a, I've showed you guys before, um, the Mafajang, I've showed you, Gemini Naturals, those are temporary colors that you can use on your gray hair. So this, I wouldn't say lasts as long as those things that I showed you. So if you wanna keep reapplying, this might be something um, that you wanna try. And then um, also the way I'm doing it right now, it doesn't have gel on it, but you'd have to be careful if you're putting it on top of product for it not to get gunky. So I don't have any gel on my edges right now. And after I wash my hair, I think I'm gonna do the same thing. But just a little quick touch up for the sides. And I'm thinking maybe this is something that some of you guys can use too. Um, if your gray hair is not the pattern that you like, you want it to look a little bit lighter or maybe have some more gray in there, this might be something that you can try and of course, it works up until you do your next wash. Hello to everybody joining. There was someone else who came on. How are you? So I think it helped a little bit. Let me know in the comments if you guys see a difference. It's not drastic, of course, but let me even put it in those areas on the top where you could see the scalp more. I think I like using it this way better than can't do it with this brush in there hey Danetta you're not late you're always on time when you join here I am using I'm showing you guys how hi love joy it looks natural right I'm using the topic uh hair building fiber I got a haircut today and I love it because again guys some of you guys ask me how do you get your height or volume a cut really helps um so my hair was a bit wider before i got the cut and i didn't have him pick it out i just had him um round the edges now tell me that i'm not crazy in the comments you notice how like this side of my hair is just like a nice straight up almost high top and then you have this side here that kind of like it's a different shape it's so interesting to me every time i get my hair cut there's one side that's straight and another side that's like that. I think it's could be with how I sleep on it or whatnot, but okay, so this side wasn't too bad, but I think this side you could see more, right? I told him just a little bit and he was just like <laughs> And then you know the fact that your hair is natural. So when I put some gel on this, forget about it. Um, so maybe with hair, you'll be able to see a little bit more how it fills that in. I've always had, yeah, thank you, Lovejoy. Have you tried Topic before? So here we go. So you guys are seeing firsthand if you see much of a difference. I like it, I feel like I'm painting or doing makeup. <laughs> hey, Khadija, how are you? Thank you. I love it too. And let me tell you, so I found another simple technique um, for wash day. Basically, I pre-pooed my hair with um, African Pride pre-poo. Then I did a beer rinse, like maybe a half an hour after I did the pre-poo. And then afterwards, I put the Unicurl 4-in-1 Styler. And this is what happened. I'm like, hmm. So it was only three steps. And um, I think that's what gave me volume. You've been resting. I hear you, girl. 
rest is best <laughs> okay I think this side right here is definitely gonna help me I don't think you're not gonna see any pink but and I'm left-handed Lorna you have the same problem with your thin edges yes me too and I'm telling you I'm you've never seen that product you've only seen it at the barbershop yes I don't think I learned about topic like I said I learned about it about um five six years ago like I said after I had my son and I had the edge uh the thinning edge issue Oof, those edges was gone <laughs> I already have fine hair so I think that adds to that but like my sister has some nice edges not only are my edges thin, but they have the nerve to not want to lay down. You remember seeing commercials about it, yeah. But when I found out they had gray, I was like, oh my gosh. But like I said, be careful. You may not be able to see it, but I could see it with the light on me. Um, hold on, I'm wasting my other light here. Um, oh, that did help a little bit. <clears throat> but be careful to not like... I don't think I think it's hard not to inhale it a little bit, but like I think I might sneeze. <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline. Mascara. Do they have gray mascara or just like brown? Oh, congratulations, Donetta. I hope she has um a safe delivery. Oh, that's so exciting. I also have a beautiful close friend of mine who had a precious baby boy yesterday. So I hope your grandchild, um, congrats. And I can't wait for you to meet your new grandbaby. And I hope Lucy Pearl is <laughs> giving you, yeah. You only use the black Jacqueline. I only use the black as well. But um, like I said, if you're watching this live, that beautiful subscriber who told me about this, thank you. And that's why it's not just me. I learn a lot from you guys. Definitely. So do you guys tell me, do you see a difference? Lucy Pearl's always not behaving. She's always in the penalty box. <laughs> tell me, I think I see a difference. I mean, you still see some pink, but it's not as... Uh, spacey as it was before okay <clears throat> like i said close your eyes you see a difference khadija thank you i'm like am i making this up okay and i also it looks different on the phone than it does in my mirror right here but i like that it's easy. Now I'm going to, after I wash my hair, I'm going to apply it again. Okay, you do. Thank you, Jacqueline. I'm going to apply it again when my hair is, actually, I would say if you can, if you're dealing with your edges, do it dry. I think that's another difference. Like that area right there. This is good enough. Like I don't need it to be, I don't need it to be any more with that. Man, I love when I get a fresh haircut I just look at my hair and I'm like I love you <laughs> so let me see if I can even show you right here where the hair is black listen I have been seeing now with men you think it's just women out here wearing wigs and weaves and things like that oh my goodness the things that they can do for men who are balding and um, having those issues, it blows my mind. Um, but this guy who showed how to use the topic, um, he was dealing with some uh, hair, you know, balding issues. I don't, ha besides my thinning edges, I don't have that. So um, for anybody who has alopecia or different things like that, you know, I'm sending you compassion because you know, I encourage everyone to love themselves and accept themselves, but some things it is hard, you know, if you're if you're losing hair in certain areas or you're, you know, there's also female pattern baldness. Hey, Pam, how are you? I, I will admit it, it reminds me of like, um, 
what do you call that? Dandruff? <laughs> it's just like, you do full units for men makes them look 30 years younger. Wow, that's interesting, Celeste. But, but it is true. Just like a woman when, I mean, there are so many things uh, that can totally change your look. Even makeup. You know, like right now I'm looking at myself. I got my eyebrows done too. I did a little bit of me time. And I'm looking at myself like I feel like a woman because, oh, well, my eyebrows is scraggly low. Okay, so I think that's enough. Actually, I want to I want to do something. Let's experiment, right? I tell you guys all the time that that's what this is about. You're not going to know if you like something unless you try it. Thank you, Lovejoy. So I'm going to try and put a little bit of this on this black streak. Who would have thought I'd have a black streak? I thought it would be... Um, <clears throat> if it really, like, shows much. I think for the straight black, it doesn't give it that much of a, a difference, but I like the way my edges turned out. Let me know in the comments for those who watch this on the replay what you think. But this is going to be my new, and then any unused goes right on back in here. And you put the top back on. Okay, y'all. I had a really scary moment. Cause I was like, I should not be holding this with this in here. Cause if this falls, don't say I didn't warn you. It can get messy and you will be highly sad. But this looks like it would last a long time for me because I would pretty much just be using it for my edges. But yeah, like the other way that I told you guys that you can use it if you don't open it up you can buy a nozzle. I think sometimes you can buy it with the nozzle with it or you can buy the nozzle separately. But I use what I had here at home. And let me try it that other way though. It's odd, you will wear some wigs without makeup, but you cannot go without makeup when wearing your silver white hair. I hear you, Tara. I hear you. I felt that way, I'm trying to see if it's coming out. I think it is. Let's see. I think the way he showed it, yeah, it's coming out because I saw the dandruff. That goes to show another reason why I like this because it builds. I think you could do it where like you press down and a little bit is coming out. Ooh, ooh y'all saw that. That was a little bit more but i feel like with the brush that gives it a more <clears throat> like you guys mentioned mm, open up the window a little bit <laughs> um it gives it a little bit of uh i like it i love my hair the gray acceptance was hard at first but your purse says stop with the color and you went natural to save salon money but was giving it to the dye people i hear you I totally hear you and um, it comes in stages it really does because I went natural first as well and then for me it was my son I was like I don't got time to be coloring my hair every other day now I will say if anybody else has a taper cut and is a head sweater like me I got my hair cut today I'm doing fine right now but don't let me start sweating like I was sweating profusely earlier I did go for a walk and I took advantage, I took for granted how much my hair held in sweat. Because, I mean, the sweat was like, oh, no, we don't got no barriers now. It was just all over my face. So I am going to let you guys know I can do the sweat test and see what it looks like after that. But I'm up, I am about to wash my hair right now with my favorite Pantene uh, Silver Expressions Purple Shampoo. And the reason why I'm doing that, I'm going to be doing a video because someone told me, another beautiful subscriber told me that they have the Silver Expressions Purple Conditioner. So I'm going to use them both together and see what results that I get. It smells good just like the, uh, just like the shampoo. So I'll give you guys just a quick 
seeing what the conditioner looks like. Not everybody loves purple products, which I get. I love, I like both, but I do feel, you know, some people ask me, well, how do you get your, your gray hair so white? Or really it's this patch right here that gets really white. So I'm gonna try that and see how it goes. And then I'm trying a new gel. I'm gonna see, I might come back on here. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. The conditioner is okay, but the AG mask, yes, Danetta, I know you told me about that AG. I have to get on that. Um, I think somebody told me about this one. This is a Giovanni uh, gel. <laughs> And it's, it's called, it says more body hair thickener volumizing styling gel. Um, it helps seal in thickness while conditioning the hair. So I'm going to see how good this does with my hair. Um, I think I might wash my hair and come back on and show you guys. Because I've showed you guys um, conditioners. You've been to five different Walmarts and can't find it. I actually um, see it on Amazon, Tara. If you want, you could check out my um, Amazon store and see if it's in there. Um, but I haven't seen it in the stores. Mm, this smells good. It smells a little like, like this medicine I used to take when I was a kid. It's not bad. Because obviously I'm still smelling it, but um, this is a thick gel. I'm here for that so I think I'm gonna go wash my hair and condition it and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys um, how I style my hair if I don't forgive me and you'll see a video of it um, but I'm gonna also use some curly magic I'm gonna use that on top because um, this says what kind of hold hmm it doesn't say a hold Actually, maybe I, I've never used just one gel. I usually layer gels. Like I'll put um, my leave-in conditioner or this gel um, underneath, and then I will go on with a Curl Boss or, um, I haven't used Eco in a long time. That's cause Aunt Jackie's came for, for the gel. That Curl Boss, that combination is just amazing. Hi, Mrs. Bridges. You're welcome. So yeah, I'm gonna see how this works with my hair. If you wanna know about gels, I don't try every single gel, but um, I love gels. That's my favorite products. And I'd love for you guys to let me know in the comments, what products do you find you struggle with the most? Like shampoos, conditioners, stylers, like trying to figure out which one uh, works for you. And if you didn't know, I am in the process of a, a beta membership where um, I have some woman in there. And basically that allows you um, to ask me questions, to have a consult um, on any questions that you have. Because I'll do a video like this about topic or about um, a gel or a purple shampoo. And somebody will ask me a question in the comments and it's... it. For in order for me to be able to give you the best consult or recommendation, um, it helps for me to be able to see your hair, to know the products that you have. So I've been able to help um, two beautiful butterflies so far. It's been really nice. Some of the issues they were struggling with, one of them has issues with styling. Like, what do I do with my hair? Their hair was short and it's longer now. We were able to work through some things. And then another member had an issue with definition. She wanted more definition with her gray hair. So if you would like to know more about that, you'd like to be a part of this uh, beta group that I'm doing. Tara, you're impressed with all the products available when you went sil silver, all that was around in shimmering lights. I agree with you. Um, I remember that from the hair salon. So there's a lot of things now and it doesn't have to necessarily be a purple product. That's another thing that I'm um, liking. So some of the things that I'm gonna be going over in the membership, cause you know, I'll come on here still on lives and um, share you guys, share with you guys what I know. But what I love about the membership is if you wanna go a little bit deeper and most specifically, if you want 
an answer tailored to your situation. Um, Cause just thinking of the two members so far um, who asked me questions, they both have very different lifestyles and very different hair textures. One of them has um, a lot softer grade of hair. My toilet wanted to make a comment. <laughs> and then um, the other member has uh, longer hair and their hair is a little bit, uh, um, a little bit coarser than, than the other. So the things that I would recommend to each of them would be different. So if you guys would like to know more about that, while I'm in the stage of figuring out how to serve you best because I love coming on here on YouTube. You guys are so supportive and you help me learn how to help you better. Um, so yeah, let me know if uh, you'd like to learn more about that. I'm going to put a link in there um, in the description box so that you could find out more about it. And this month we talked about pre-poos. So I did a live, uh, I think it was like a couple of weeks ago and we just started answering some specific questions within the membership that people had about the pre-poos next month we're going to be talking about shampoos um clarifying shampoos purple shampoos uh non-purple shampoos things like that to help brighten your gray hair i noticed the two top complaints of my silver sisters are dryness with the gray hair and dull you know it being dull or being yellow so those are some of the things that we're going to be covering deeper into the uh in the membership as well as tailored and you'll also be a part of a facebook group where um you know you can ask me follow-up questions and things like that so you can take a click in the in the oh my goodness i forgot how to say that you can look at the link in the description <laughs> to find out more about that um but in the meantime i will of course um be keeping you guys posted on here and telling you more about it yeah lorna there is hope there is hope my silver sister um and i think one of the reasons why i started the membership a couple of earlier this year i had did my first zoom expo and I was talking to a woman about gray hair. Who would have thought? It was like an expo where, um, it was an expo where, you know, women, there were different vendors. And someone asked me to participate. And at first I was like, I don't know, I feel out of place, you know. But then so many women came to the room and they were just telling me their issues with their gray hair. And there was this beautiful woman who came on there. And I stayed on with her while she was in the car till she got all the way home. She was using the ORS Unleashed color in her hair. And she was having a problem with like how it was coming out in her hair. And we were able to on Zoom go and figure out what her issue was. She did it and she loved it. Like she put it on her hair while we were on the Zoom call together. Um, so having support on your gray hair journey is very, very helpful. So if that is you, you need some more one-to-one -one help. Um, one of my members told me, look, there's so much stuff out there. I just need somebody to point me in the right direction. And I am happy, you know, to be able to do that. And the one that I told you about from the Zoom Expo, she still sends me pictures and things like that to show me updates of her hair. So it gives me pleasure to be able to um, help you guys and i just appreciate your support so much like i said thank you for letting me come on here and share my journey thank you for sharing your journey with me jacqueline you're experiencing dry and dull your hair is very thick and coily going to try the jazzing yeah let me know how it works jacqueline um let me know if that helps at all and uh, please also feel free to hugs, um, Danetta, and I can't wait for you to meet your grandbaby. Thank you for sharing things like that, you know. Um, but if you need help, I'm here for you. You can look at the link in the description to find out more. And um, I'll see you guys on the next live. Um, if I don't come back <laughs> later on, check my stories and I can give you a results photo of how my hair turns out, how this washes out with the shampoo and all of that, okay? It was great to see you guys. Thank you for keeping me company. And um, like I said, I'll see you on the next one. Remember to accept the wings that you are given with love and compassion. Bye guys.